Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. Today we're going to take a look at a knife by Topps. This is the Topps Tom Brown Tracker 2. It's the uh, little brother to the uh, larger size version of this same knife, the original Tom Brown Tracker. And this knife is really the, the very same knife except just in a scaled down format. Uh, it ships in this bubble wrap and with, uh, with that you'll get also a, a Topps decal sticker as well as uh, an envelope with a certificate of authenticity and the Topps warranty in there and you also will receive a uh, a Lansky uh, knife sharpening brochure so that's interesting that comes with it in the uh, bubble wrap for protection uh, let's talk about the sheath first of all. Uh, the sheath, uh, if you're familiar with these Tom Brown knives, uh, the Tom Brown series now consists of the Tom Brown Tracker Original, the Tracker 2, which is this one, and now there's also a Tom Brown Scout. Uh, so that's, uh, that's what you've got going for you there. Uh, the, these uh, knives, uh, the Topps uses these sheaths made of Kydex for these knives, and uh, it's a uh, Kydex is a, is a, 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 a thermoplastic, rugged, a very, very rugged, tough kind of material. In this particular case, it is slightly, uh, slightly, it has a slight texturing on it. Uh, nothing I would say that would increase grip really, but it, it's just got a, a slight finish or texture to it. You can see it there. Uh, the, the sheath is molded to the shape of the knife. It is a friction sheath, holds, a, holds the knife in uh, with with friction. It does have uh, some tie down holes here. There's one, two, three, four, five tie down holes. Uh, it is screwed together. Uh, it does have uh, somewhat of an opening there at the end, although I don't I don't think I could in good conscience call it a, a water drain. Uh, although it does separate to some degree right there at the end. These This knife uh, also does have and Topps uses these these one-way spring clips on the back here, and it's it's I've I don't see any other manufacturer doing this, and it's a good idea. Uh, what they are is they're uh, these these spring clips here, and they're they're sort of a if you can see that there it, it's almost a G clip really. It it, it if you can see if that would go around your belt, and then that would that would your your belt would snug in there, and then that comes down and locks it into place. So it's that's that's quite a secure fastener right there uh, and and these clips both the same they will rotate clockwise only so so we we can rotate the clips this way and and if you would like to you can but in doing so you can rotate it for uh, for horizontal carry like that small of the back uh, that kind of thing you know behind the back and uh, and it'll carry that way very well as well And again, that's we just turn that. They just go one way, so and they're 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 quite securely made, quite rugged. That's that's a tough sheath. Uh, comes off like that. There's your knife. Looks just the same as the the Tom Brown Tracker original, but it is in a smaller size, a little bit more uh, nimble, a little bit more uh, perhaps a little more portable certainly more concealable. Uh, you, you do uh, gain weight reduction with this knife, so that's a benefit also. Specs on this knife. It's a three and a half inch blade, and that is made of the 1095 high carbon steel. Same as the uh, original. Uh, it is a Rockwell hardness of 58, and the thickness of this blade is uh, that is a 3 16 inch steel right there. Three sixteenths of an inch. Does have the black traction coating on it, you can see. That is to protect it from rust and corrosion. Uh, you know, being 1095 steel, it is susceptible to that. It uh, doesn't have chromium in it. So it will, uh, it's not a stainless steel, and it will, will uh, pick up that rust and corrosion. But the black traction coating protects it from that. 
uh, and then of course you'll want to just keep it dry and keep it lubed and oiled and and it'll stay it'll stay just fine the weight is six tenths of a pound the handle scales are black linen micarta and those are held on with uh, three allen head bolts and those that's a three thirty seconds uh, allen head bolt if you're gonna want to care if you're gonna want to get an allen wrench for that uh, that is you'll want the three thirty second size now this knife it's you know it's made for survival and it's made for wilderness usage and you can see it was designed with different different surfaces in mind for that you've got you've got here uh, this this area here is for your your chopping and and and, uh, and you know chopping swinging those kinds of uh, those kinds of chores uh, here this surface here you have which is is a, is a draw knife which can be can be used to, to draw down draw some tinder draw some kindling for a fire um, it could be used for making a bow uh, on the back here we've got a saw teeth which makes that the saw teeth there that will make a, a flat notch in a, uh, in a in a log or a, a stick uh, which would be good for uh, you know for for lashing uh, building a building a, a lean-to or lashing uh, twine through it to make a make a, a notch for that it would work perfect on that. Uh, you can certainly baton and split wood with it. You, really, I mean, it's it's full tang, full tang construction. Uh, you do get the the nice spacers there. It does have a lanyard hole with a brass insert. Okay. And that that micarta is uh, it's you know. It's a very comfortable material, and you can see it's been given finger grooves there, so that that can be held, you know, this way, and the swinging can be this way, or it can be choked back for that a little bit more inertia there on the chop, or it can be choked back one more for like that for all the most inertia on the chop. I mean, the, this really, the only thing that you give up uh, in this knife versus the larger size is just, is just the, 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 the chopping power that comes with the additional weight. That's really the only thing that you're, that you're sacrificing, but what you're gaining is uh, you gain portability, you gain concealability, uh, certainly, I, as I mentioned, weight reduction uh, is a big benefit, and, and it'll still do some good chopping. So it's, it's not out of the game. Uh, but it, it won't be able to match its its larger brother, though. That's all. That's a great knife. I really like that. I, the Tom Brown. Oh, I forgot to mention the uh, the wire cutter or wire splitter here. That last notch there. You, you, that's a that's a wire breaker. Put that up against a, a wire fence and, and bend it like that. That that's how you use it for breaking wire. No, it's a great knife. It's a great knife. A lot of people love it for survival. Uh, it works really well for that. Uh, it comes with a uh, with a, a Kydex sheath, which is which is about the toughest, most rugged material you can. It's perfect for the out of doors. Uh, this knife will. This knife won't let you down. This is a great knife to have. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.